What is good everyone? Welcome to this video. I'm Charlie from Conscious Creation and in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to let go properly. Now, when it comes to manifesting your desires, it's really important to get to a space of letting go because this allows the universe to start bringing in the manifestation that you want to create. It doesn't mean we get to a place of I am no longer interested. Rather, it's getting to a feeling state of relief or a release of tension within the body. An example would be, let's say you're having an argument with someone and the tension builds and then you both suddenly realize how trivial the argument actually is and you both start laughing and you get that sense of release within the body, that relief of tension. That is the feeling of letting go and that's what we want to apply to our manifestations. Now, it's really important to understand that our emotions are actually driving our controlling thoughts. They talk about this in the book, Letting Go by David Hawking. It's a really, really good book. I highly recommend it. But they talk about psychology and neuropsychology and that our emotions are much more primal than our thoughts. So we often try and let go by saying, I'm letting go. I'm letting go now. I'm letting go now and it doesn't seem to work because we're doing it purely through that of the mind and it's the emotion that is driving those thoughts. So if we manage to deal with the emotion, we can deal with those thoughts of then letting go. We haven't really been taught a mechanism growing up on how to deal with our emotions. And so what we do is we have coping mechanisms which don't deal with the emotion properly. But I'm gonna share with you the three main coping mechanisms that we actually use. Now, the first one is that of suppression or repression. So whenever we feel a certain emotion that we don't like, what do we do? We push it down within us. We like, oh, go away, it doesn't feel good. Why do we do that? Because as we've grown up, we might have been told by an adult or a parent, oi, don't have that angry outburst, it's bad behavior. Or I bet you feel guilty for doing that, don't you? And you now feel or relate to those emotions as negative. So every time they come up, what do you do? You push them down. Now there's something called the law of projection, which basically means if we hold these emotions within our body, they build up like that of a pressure cooker and we then project them onto the world and onto other people. Do you ever find if you're particularly angry, you seem to attract more and more people that just make you angry. They are just re re reflecting that emotion back to you. Now, the second coping mechanism that we have is through that of expression. So whenever we feel those emotions, don't feel like we can release them, is we want to express them in some sort of way. This is something that I noticed being a personal trainer for a long time, is I would get clients that, that came to me, and yes, they, they were there for the training and the techniques that I offered and the support, but a lot of it had to do with therapy. They were It was a very therapeutic thing for them. Let's say they had you know, a day at work and everything made them angry. They would then come to the gym and it would be a place in which they could release that anger. It was a form of expression. Yes, it helps suppress that of the emotion, but it doesn't neutralize it completely. The third coping mechanism that we have is through that of escapism. So whenever we feel an emotion that we don't like is we try to escape from it through that of addictive behavior, working, drinking, smoking, gambling, anything that can distract us from the uncomfortable feeling of the emotion. Again, these are all coping mechanisms and they don't go to the root cause of the emotion. So what is the root cause? The root cause is feeling the emotion and accepting it 100% because if you deal with the emotion, you are going to deal with your ability to then let go. What, we want, what you want to do is just put your attention on your body and you want to feel the emotion without judgment and allow it to be there. It's better to get out of your mind and more into your body because when you're in your mind, that's when your mind starts creating all these stories. So staying within your body is really important and you want to feel it. And what you do is you actually alchemize the emotion and it starts to leave your energy field and then you'll find it a lot easier to let go. An example would be, let's say you're trying to manifest something in your life. You're trying to manifest more wealth or more abundance. Now, what will actually happen 
is the universe, as soon as you've visualized and set the intention and, and created that manifestation within you, is the universe will then bring circumstances and situations to trigger any emotional belief within you that doesn't match that manifestation. So if you have a belief such as, oh, only certain types of people can earn a lot of money, or you have to work incredibly hard in order to get that amount of money, is those beliefs are held by your emotions within your body. So something will be brought into your experience to trigger that emotion up to the surface. And what we want to do is not go to a coping mechanism, but we want to feel the emotion 100%. And if we feel the emotion 100%, we deal with it, it alchemizes and leaves the body. Therefore, we can then get to the process of letting go because if we hold that belief system, we hold that emotion within us, we are not going to be able to let go properly. So thank you for watching. I will put a free ebook below that can help you with the process of manifesting if you want to give it a go. Apart from that, peace, much love and take care.